the my same politics thing. aren't even 100 percent nailed down you know like i'm not gonna oh for sure just i'm not gonna call myself a communist i just know yeah. three pages into state and revolution i was like you know what I don't think a plucky band of misfits is going to overtake the largest <laughs> in history. So yeah, that's where I'm I think at. that's all we want to say. Like I'm presenting this. I don't even like. I'm not a. I don't. For what it's worth, I need to do a lot more reading. But I don't like consider myself a Leninist. So, but I'm like, we need to read Lenin, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, uh, there's good. I like reading Lenin a lot. I don't. I think you know. I, I like reading Mao Didn't a lot. You know, reading theory is bad. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Like I think I think it's fun, it's useful. And then I will definitely return to it and my own very controversial takes. I will in the future, maybe here or elsewhere, I will certainly try to as I read more and more, I might find opportunity to contrast Mao the revolutionary, Lenin the revolutionary, for example, with Mao the state leader and Lenin the state leader and be like, mm-hmm. I like I like the one, I don't love the other, right? That's me, right? Other people. So yeah, yeah and like see, it's not yeah, about it's having like, the other I don't have enough analysis to be able to separate yeah. like what is probably fact about Mao from what is definitely like. Yeah, me neither. I need to read it. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. Yeah. But I will here. say the idea of protracted people's war kind of makes a little sense. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I think I agree with you. Yeah. No, I think that's I think that's important. And yeah, like this isn't like I mean at least for me my my vision of this is not like to fit this in one school of thought like this project or anything like that like i don't want it to be like this is uh a certain type of and this is a bakunin like mm. uh thing or this is a Le- marxist Lenin. no <laughs> no i just i want marginalized people like, oh, you cut out i think we're having a connection issue you're frozen hello i'm okay like some people like that some people hate it but i definitely have it uh, nail down or, or you know, discipline my own ideology enough mm. to even create a space that is uh, adherent to like one. I'm going to say I, I just missed I most what of against. what you said because our connection went out and you froze. Oh, sorry, sorry. But, yeah, but, no, but I, if I'm if I'm getting the gist of it, we're creating a Cepeda Feralist uh, line of of leftist discourse. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that I'm good with, right? And thought I think, leaders. And I, that, and I think our right. ethos, yeah, that's right. And I think our ethos will be like exploration, what we're in favor of, like in in like in a, in a in a universal way and what we're definitely damn sure not in favor of and 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 we're open ourselves to evolving whatever. You know what I mean? Like tactics is uh, I want open tactical discussions if we get to that, like right philosophically and maybe on the ground. Open philosoph. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 cool with it. I'm not gonna have <laughs> like we're not gonna. I don't think you know we're not gonna be like a hey maybe imperialism American imperialism is good type of conversations or like you know maybe we should be afraid of the Chinese invading us type of discussions. It's not like that broad or shit like that. You know, like it's not. I'm not, it's not that it's not like, yeah. it's not a neoliberal space or some shit like that, but like, yeah, yeah, no, I, it's definitely, I don't want to like uh silo it into like, it's gotta be, you know, this writer or this thing, like all communists are tankies, but also the United States should invade Russia right now. <laughs> You're right. Exactly. Yeah. No, none of that shit. I'm open. I'm very open-minded because I want to read a lot more and stuff like that. And I want it to be I want it to be to 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 use a really bad phrase. I want it to be a a big tent for you know decent people, people that mm-hmm. people that we that we like very very subjectively deem good people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? like for sure. Like it's definitely not like you know like I'm not I'm not we're not gonna have an FBI hour. Like okay, yeah. all agents, come on, let's hear your no no I don't fuck it that. But on know. that note, can I lament how much I'm seeing like transphobic bullshit from lefty ostensibly lefty Twitter accounts like holy uh, like people will actually be talking about like political theory and then just be like oh transgender women are just men and they should be kept out of sports and I'm like fuck man apropos I'm nothing, for you. They trying to like connect it some close. some bullshit they were saying it, it, no crazy. just 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 flat that that's their statement that's crazy that's what that stuff that's what worries me is like when people are you know like when no people, no i mean they'll be talking about like neoliberalism is fucking killing the planet right 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 it's bad but also trans oh, crazy. women are just men and, and should be excluded from all women's spaces and i'm like yeah i'm, I'm really sorry that's what i don't like, like, like analysis. 
Yeah, no, no. It's it's I I feel like I don't know if this is connected to it or not, but I feel immediately like it might be like I am okay with I have like you know there's basic like standards, but uh I am okay with you know working or being in dialogue with like on a, ta- a like on a tactical level with anyone who meets whatever basic standards for me mm. and that's okay <laughs> like I am not theoretically I'm not like gonna necessarily I should say I will not necessarily shut off the opportunity to in advance out of context to share a message of mine, for example, with a right wing audience, whether that right wing audience is Fox News or the New York Times, right? Mm-hmm. Like I like I'm not saying I won't or whatever, but at the same token, when we act like anybody who parrots one little iota of something that sounds half good is like an ally and we should be uncritical, that's a problem. So yeah, jo- it's like, like everybody getting super excited about Bill Burr saying maybe socialism's okay. No, right, right. And that's the like- The dude's like, he, his comedy is openly transphobic. Like, no, but- absolutely, that's right. And he, and he, and that's a great example. And he is like, arguably like, you not, not these degrees don't matter. It don't matter to the to, to people that are like under like existential threat. But from a, speaking from a privileged position, like in useless- you know, vacuum, like I still like, well, he's better than Joe Rogan, but at the same time, what does it matter? But it's like, that's the problem with this stuff. It's like, oh, Joe Rogan had Abby Martin on. So like Joe's an an ally or he said something mean about so-and-so, but it's like, yeah, but like Joe is unapologetically racist. And I say this as a former friend who didn't think critically enough about the shit that him and Eddie Bravo were doing years ago. Right. Like that's, that's not me. So it's not saying, you know, like I haven't always hated Joe Rogan or something like that. I actually, always have had a soft spot for him and liked him personally. And he, you know, he, he was a nice guy to me and tried to promote a lot of my work back in the day. So it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, it's not like, it's not like there is, there is no, there's no space to like uncritically, you know, let anyone be an ally because they say one thing. Tucker Carlson is the only person I've seen on cable news or network news who is like, accurately in like a very simple superficial facile not a complex but accurate way you know kind of criticizing you know uh um the u.s uh the u.s you know using ukraine as a as a client state and like accelerating the risk of world war three took a but then like everything else that he says is just well, like, like, he's not an ally of mine. So. He's, not an, he's not an ally yeah. There's no yeah, reason no. to believe he's saying that in good faith, right? Like, there's that's absurd, right? Like, he he is he has an entire life and career of of, uh, of warmongering, right? Mm-hmm. To say nothing of like subsets of that, which is racism and sexism and and and, and queer phobia. Like, he's not an ally. Like, I'm not saying I wouldn't go on Tucker Carlson, but guess what? We're going to be talking about first and foremost when I'm on Tucker Carlson. It's Tucker Carlson's bigotry. Like, you know, if he wants to let me criticize like Jeff Bezos afterwards, I'm happy to do it. But I'm fucking gonna. If I'm on a white power hour, I'm going to discuss white power. Yeah, yeah first, no, like, you know like people saying? have people like, have asked me if I would ever go on Joe Rogan. I was like, sure, to tell him he's an asshole to his face. Right, right, yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, I'll talk about, like, push-ups and roundhouse kicks, too, after we discuss your fucking bigotry, right? Like, that's got to yeah. happen. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I agree with you. That's, that's really fucked up. But I think it's a lot of these people, like, it allows us to bleed in. And these folks, they realize, like, ooh, People are really sick of capitalism. And so I better start saying some vaguely like humanistic sounding things every once in a while. And then well, and like the these is, kids are like, yeah, I'm progressive, but they still transphobic, right? Like sometimes I wonder uh, if it's like a concerted fucking propaganda effort. Yeah. Like, okay, well, let's they're they're doing the same shit that the Nazis did, the national socialist. Yeah, that's right. We're that's how it use works, the terminology. Right? And that's right. That's exactly right. And like no one's, you know, Hitler spoke against, you know, the financiers and big business big time. Now, except instead of calling them capitalists, he decided that they were all Jews and needed to be. That's right. That's what he was doing. He was talking about Jewish people. In reality, he was cutting deals with with the uh, with the corporations, including the American ones all over the world. And the corporations always love fascism. Right. So if we can't if we can't talk about these things in a historically informed way then we're just, we're just idiots, right? Like, we're just like, we're just like a simple, like religious fervor that we're experiencing. Oh, I'm a Christian. So someone says, Jesus, they must be a good person. What the fuck? How stupid, how stupid can I be? Be a Christian, be this, be whatever you want, but have some like historical, like helpful hints to understand, to let you evaluate if someone is like speaking in good faith 
or to, to, to examine their rhetoric because people know what buzzwords to use to fool us, you know, like, yeah. yeah. And that's, yeah, what that's fucked up. I'm sorry that's happening. You know, the, the material analysis one might even say. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly right. No, absolutely. 